uh, in this video I'll show you how to create an invoice and how to find your invoices once you've created them or if you have already created them and you, you can't find your invoices you logged into your PayPal business account and you either click on pay and get paid or if you've already created invoices or you want to create invoice you go to invoicing it doesn't make any difference you can it doesn't make any difference you can go either way so if I just press that get uh, paid pay and get paid here under that you have um, wallet invoicing make payments accept payments and you can choose any of those categories and do your business on the invoicing you can create and manage invoicing this video is just about invoicing so I can't I don't want to go through all those things that'll be hours and hours of uh, talk so just invoicing under here you can press create invoice now under that there is a drop down estimates or um, batch invoice update or money request so you just choose for instance invoice create invoicing and um, here at, at the moment I've uploaded my logo you can upload your own logo here uh, where it says your business information and you can edit that and you can put your own address or name of the business whatever you want phone number email address invoicing to the person that you want the email address and you can even email it to yourself so you know the invoice has been sent this is automatic invoicing and you can make series of invoices so it, it recares every it's a recurring invoice you can make recurring invoices uh, or series of invoices yeah, so it recares every month or every quarter every six months whatever you, you can customize it so to do that you go here frequency once only or every one week every one month every one year every quarter or custom and then you can customize that here and um, put the date start date here uh, repeat every one month every uh, every day every week every month every year or every two months every three months or whatever you want and Ex uh, ending or expiry date and you put after so you say start here end it after this date uh, after the five not five uh, occurrences or six occurrences or ten occurrences or whatever you want and then save it uh, once you've done that that's done that part is done your logo is uploaded your business information is there uh, the, the person who gets it the email address and maybe yourself or uh, somebody else uh, whoever you want and then you come here you customize uh, what what you want to say here you know uh, is it quantity is it hours because of the hourly work that you've done amount only whatever details uh, other details like taxes detached you know you can remove these things or add add or remove uh, from the invoice like tax and stuff and uh, and the currency so for instance I have tax here if I just go here and on tick that the tax is gone from there or so you don't need to show that to your customer or you want to show it you just put it there that's up to you and uh, the description you put down here the item name and the description maybe uh, whatever you want to describe your item that you've done or you're selling services whatever the price and uh, if you have any discount or shipping cost or whatever and then close there uh, allow partial payments so it allows the customer 
to make partial payments um, allow customers to add a tip and basically that is it and if you want to add any notes to recipient or any terms and conditions or add any attach any files and once you've done that you preview it and then once it's done that you, then you can send it now if I go back to edit and you know if you made recurring payment like I did at the beginning I said custom and let's say after uh, four occurrences then stop then you have another button here it just says start series that starts the series of the invoices which will be issued and sent automatically to the recipient now this is done you could after you've done that and everything is done you can save it as a draft or you can save it as a template once you've done that if you want to go back and see your invoices or manage them you come under you come to the same page and uh, get paid and create invoices or manage invoices you go there same just to begin to start from the beginning basically just to show you if you if you just logged in and started fresh you just come under this button it says manage manage invoices manage recurring series manage estimates so if I go on the manage at the moment I've gone on the invoices and I, as you can see there is no invoices I don't have any invoices but I have I know I have a recurring series that I can go under this if I go under that and click there it'll show me the series of recurring invoices which I have here and then you can click on that and view them or edit them do whatever you will you cancel them or close them do whatever you want that's how you find your invoices so this is basically how you create an invoice whether it's a one time only or a series and you can manage your invoices that way thank you